This is the brown stag beetle. Okay, admittedly that sounds a little boring, but it's got a special elytra that makes it one of the most interesting beetles, so let's get to know these beautiful Australian beetles. Found pretty commonly within Queensland and New South Wales, this beetle is a one of a kind. In fact, it's the only beetle within its own respective genus of Rhysonidus. Actually, that genus used to contain more, but morphological and phylogenetic studies separated those other beetles into their own genus of Safrina, but I digress. Sorry, let's get back on topic. With their distinctive elytral patterns, stocky proportions, four eyes, not literally, but in the kind of ironic bullying way, and flounder-like head, these guys are easy to identify not only by species but also by sex. Males are slightly larger, but the biggest tell is how much hair they have around their jaws just like the boys of Homo sapiens. Also the female jaws are smaller and shaped differently. Finding this brown stag beetle, um, I'm just gonna call it a better name because it's such an undescriptive name and could pretty much be applied to any other beetles, but this study is pushing for the mottled stag beetle as a name, which is honestly so much better. These guys love to chill and aren't picky where they do it. If you're in a forest in Queensland from November to February, check out the rotting lumber or just fallen trees of especially eucalyptus, pine, and oaks, and there's a good chance you'll come across them. Heck, just check for rotting wood in general. But they might look a little bit different than this, and it's because their elytra changes colors. Yeah, in moist environments, their elytra goes black just like the Hercules, but how they achieve this effect is completely different from dynasties. It appears that their elytra will fill up with lipids just like when I eat too much pizza, and instead of glistening with pepperoni grease, they turn black and lose their iconic brown patterns. In fact, when you find dead species, they're usually sickly black and oily with that fatty layer of post-mortem lipids, unless they were baking under the deadly laser that's Australia's sun. It's uncertain why they have this special property, but perhaps it's to better regulate their water content, or maybe the texture of their elytra helps them burrow easier in the moist dirt. With such a cool ability already, this beetle couldn't get more interesting, but there's one more thing about its elytra so far that I love and it's that their patterns are all unique. So naming these guys and differentiating them is very easy. However, with their ability to change elytral colors to conceal their identity, they can easily commit and get away with heinous beetle crimes when the environment is right. Well, these lovely little guys live their adult lives for only a couple of months, but breeding them seems to be quite easy, so I'll likely be doing so in the background. Hope you enjoyed learning about this beetle, and if you're curious about more color changing boys, check out this video and let me know what beetles you want me to cover next in the comments below. And as always, thank you to the members and all of you still here.